So looking at dynamics, the rectilinear motion, so that's straight line motion. Uh, we're going to come up with an equation and we're also going to draw a little graph so you can get a real feel for what this looks like. Before we do that, we need a couple of key terms. First one's position. So that's the location of an object compared to a fixed point, usually the origin. So like here's the starting line, start line. If you're here, then your position might be, how far is that? That's 10. 10 meters. So your position is 10 meters. If this was the start line and we were going in this direction and you're back here somewhere, your position might be negative 9 meters. So position is directional. You can either be behind the start line or the start line. Now I'm talking about start lines, but obviously what I'm really talking about is like our number line. 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. Another thing we need to take a look at is the distance versus displacement. So these are two words that sometimes people use interchangeably, but they actually have very different definitions. So the easiest way to define distance versus displacement is to take a look at a picture and understand it through that picture. So here's my picture, here's a number line, here's my starting position at 0 at the origin, and you can see someone walks here, to four meters away from the origin in a straight line. And then they go, oh, actually, I need to go back. So they turn around and go back past the starting line and two meters behind the starting line. All right, so if we talk about distance, this person has walked four meters plus six meters. The total distance walked was 10 meters. But the displacement is the distance from the origin. Okay, Displacement is simply the distance from the origin. So at one stage their displacement was 4 when they got to here, but then their displacement was 3, 2, 1, 0. So at that point the distance they traveled was 8, but their displacement was 0 then their displacement was negative 1, then their displacement was negative 2. Now I'm using meters, but obviously units, it's centimeters, millimeters, doesn't matter what, what it is. So just try to, in your own words, summarize the difference between distance and displacement, because they are very important. Okay, so now uh, dynamics, we've learned some words. We need to look at our motion equation. Now our motion equation, it's straight line movement, so think straight line equation. We can use this y equals mx plus c. Now you've seen y equals mx plus c, you know that on a Cartesian plane it's going to result in a straight line that looks like that. Now I'm just going to I'm going to use y equals mx plus c, but I'm going to change all the letters around because we're doing dynamics and we like to use a slightly different formula when we talk about dynamics. So here's our new formula that we use when we talk about dynamics. x equals mt plus n. Now this might look a little bit confusing here, but on a Cartesian plane, t is this one here. t is for time. How, how long have I been traveling for? And my y-axis is actually my x-axis. And that's going to give me my displacement. How far have I gone from the origin? How far am I, or how far am I now from the origin? Uh, now this is going to end up being your velocity, which I'm going to gloss over right now, but I'll come and talk about that later. And then n is your starting position. So what does this all look like? Well, here's a graph. This is my time axis. This is my x-axis, which is really my displacement. So let's say I got a head start in a race. Well, I didn't start at the origin. I started at the 3 meter mark. And then I just, I went for it. And after 10 seconds, so 10 seconds, I was now 
8. I know maybe it was a crawling race because this isn't very fast, is it? 10 seconds, 8 away. Alright, so this line here describes the motion that, that has taken place. We started 3 metres from the start and we've gone here. Now, in terms of the equation of that, you guys should be able to look at a line like that and create the function x equals mt plus n very, very simply. You'll know that the n is my x, y intercept. So x equals mt plus 3. You also know that uh, when, x e when t equals 10, x equals 8. When x equals 8, t equals 10. The positive 3 comes over here and becomes 5. 5 equals 10m. That means that uh, you can all figure that out. m equals 10, uh, 5 divided by 10, n equals a half. So the actual equation of this journey is x equals 1 half t plus 3. All right. Um, this, these sorts of motion graphs are going to be really, really important moving forward with this dynamic stuff. We've only really scraped the surface here. A couple of key points. Position, the place where you are. Distance versus displacement. Make sure you know the difference. Make sure you understand that y equals mx plus c and x equals mt plus n are the same thing. It's just we're using different different things because we want to have time on our x-axis and x is our, is our displacement. And then finally, you should be able to find the equation. And also, if I give you an equation, you should be able to sketch that thing. All right, plenty there.